Hi everybody, welcome to the Off the Grid Revolution. Today we're going to start by talking a little bit about um, the November election that's coming up. Uh, give you some thoughts and ideas about that. Uh, and in that context we're going to be talking about uh, the Community Bill of Rights that we're uh, dealing with here in Youngstown. The Community Bill of Rights is basically uh, saying to the politicians, we want the community to have the right, hence Community Bill of Rights, to decide what kind of businesses and industries go into our city. Uh, it's not a, a, a countywide ban, it's not a state or national ban, this is a local ban uh, against certain kinds of toxic industries that come into uh, the city. It includes uh, fracking, which is a real big issue for us. We don't want them fracking uh, our land and we don't want them doing injection wells of the uh, harsh chemicals that they use in the fracking process to contaminate our water, to uh, radiate our community, to pollute our air, and to uh, generally make Youngstown a worse place to be, not a better place to be. Um, we're doing the Community Bill of Rights also because the opposition uh, uh, is lying to people about whether there are jobs or not. We have asked them repeatedly to give us a list of the people who have jobs or give us a list of the jobs that exist in this industry. Not one word in response. That's them. They're lying. They know they are and so they're not trying to cover it up. There are things you can do as a grassroots uh, off the grid revolution uh, to support issues like the Community Bill of Rights. I want to show you what I call one of my bumper stickers. Can, Joe, can you get a sign of this? Uh, yes. Vote yes on six, the Youngstown Community Bill of Rights protect our drinking water, our air, and our land. Uh, this is an environmental statement about the Bill of Rights um, that is intended to raise people's awareness that there's damage being done by the hazardous industries that the uh, oil and gas um, industry wants to bring into Youngstown. All over the world, but we're emphasizing local. Bernie Sanders said, go after local issues that are significant for you. Go after significant issues on a nationwide basis, uh, like getting money out of politics. Uh, and he has asked us to do that, and as well as that, to support individual candidates. Um, he's got a list of about 100 on his website, and I, uh, or is supposed to. I don't know how many he's up to now. Uh, so get on board with supporting uh, progressive candidates in your area, and give serious consideration to who you're going to vote for this time. Um, I've got um, a lot of different opinions in the uh, progressive movement in Youngstown as to who we should be voting for, but for me it is plain and simple. We do not want Donald Trump as President of the United States. That would be horrible. I don't really want Hillary Clinton as President of the United States either, because I think she's going to be horrible. I think she's going to be less horrible. We're stuck with voting against the evil of two lessers again. Bernie Sanders, um, having won this election and having stolen from us, has started a political revolution that I don't think either the Trump-type Republicans or the other-type Republicans that don't like him or the bought-out Democrats um, like Bill and Hillary Clinton. We've got to be done with that, and Bernie started a revolution to stop that. But let me show you the other side of this sign over here. This, this side was a uh, side about environment and this one has more of a political uh, and individual rights emphasis to it. We decide what is safe for our community, not politicians bought and paid for by corporations. Boy, does that sound like our man Bernie? <laughs> it's him through and through. Uh, vote yes on issue six. The Community Bill of Rights is supposed to be issue six on the ballot this time. Youngstown Community uh, Bill of Rights. That's us. That's what we're uh, doing as the individual kind of action that Bernie Sanders wanted us to do. Um, so we have that as what I call my bumper stickers. We also do have bumper stickers that we've purchased and we've distributed for free. Um, we have some people who just donate to uh, materials uh, to the cause. Uh, basically they're uh, Bernie Sanders supporters who are not going to stop the revolution just because he has changed his methodology in his part of the revolution. So, in addition to making these kind of signs... Now, Randy, importantly, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to touch on a little bit what we were talking about just a few minutes ago before the camera started, that the revolution is us. That's it's exactly. not a person That's leading right. us. That's right. The revolution is not Bernie Sanders. The revolution is not Jill. It's not Donald Trump. Uh, it is us. We are the revolution. We can do individual actions. 
on our own. You can take a sign and stand down the most uh, traveled corner in your town and you can beat the political revolution on your own. You can also do individual things. If you follow up on the next video, you're going to see some of the individual things uh, that I'm doing to promote the revolution on an individual basis. You can do things on your own and you can build coalitions with other people. Um, in Youngstown, we've uh, built coalitions for the Community Bill of Rights with local churches. We've built some coalitions with a politician or two. Interestingly enough, they're all afraid to sign on officially. They tell us under their breath, we believe you're right, we just can't say it. That's because the, the Democratic Party in Youngstown, in Mahoning County, is amazingly corrupt, uh, and I would even add inept. I'm deathly afraid that they're going to lose the election for, uh, for Hillary Clinton here. And so, like I said, I don't like her either, but you got to think with your head and not feel with your heart. You have to do what's in the best interest of people who are going to suffer if he becomes the President of the United States. So we're going to the side of Hillary Clinton, even though we don't want to be. It's sort of like we're voting against the evil of two lessers, or the lesser of two evils. It's both ways. But in addition to making these kind of signs, we also make yard signs, and we've done videos about that before. We've done videos um, about how you go through the process of getting the old political signs and painting them a solid color and then using handwriting uh, uh, with paint or markers to make a sign that relates so you don't have to spend money on corporate um, enterprises in order to do the revolution. Individual revolution can be things like gardening, uh, providing transportation for needy people, um, creating alternative transportations, um, creating alternative food sources, uh, uh, improving mental health in your community, work on issues of addiction in your community. All of these things are part of the revolution where we do it as individuals instead of counting on the corporations or the government to do it for us. Um, so that's where we are with making signs and um, uh, having bumper stickers and making posters to continue the revolution. Okay, thank you, Randy. You're welcome.